Yes! Welcome to Sweet Astrology. And I'm going to speak about the difference between April Taurus people and May Taurus people. So as we end the bull season, it is my duty to explain to you all in the most hoodest way what it is and what it ain't. Okay? <laughs> First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to everybody. Okay? Subscribers, non-subscribers, viewers likers sharers whatever the case may be thank you all for just still taking the time out for viewing my channel and um also my website is open yes yes i'll be putting in that word solo dolo okay solo dolo website is open monet colors go ahead and check out those customized eyelashes I customize everything, okay, period. And um, I also want to let people know that I do offer birth chart readings. That never stopped. You know, it could be personal birth chart readings. It could be couple birth chart readings. We can also go into some type of um, consultation, you know what I'm saying? Well, we could talk about like real personal life issues relationship issues that can also relate to your zodiac signs or it don't have to relate to that i think we need to all really start tapping more into mental health you know period and as for men women anybody i'm open to all of that i do charge a five dollar fee for each time we um speak about whatever you all want to speak about because i feel like i'm just giving my time it could be for an hour two hours three hours i don't care communicate with me hit me up in my email if you're interested in that anyways it is definitely some differences okay within all taurus people even though they share the same zodiac sign we all have our own special birth charts and that factors in a lot of planets that may change the overall original set zodiac sign that we all have been given by birth. So understand that each sign also shares a subdivision of another sign, which in other words, for astrology, it is called deacon. This helps astrologers give... Um, Everybody else that's not very educated in astrology, a better and fuller understanding, interpretations of each sign where we can break it down for you. A lot of people today tend to think only one zodiac sign is fully who they are. And that can be the case for some, but not for all. Most of us. Um, we have different zodiac signs in our chart. You have to tap in to yourself to figure out what's going on with you. Okay. But we're going to take a deeper look into the Taurus world though. You feel me? We going to tap into bull season. You know, bull season came with some rocky moments this year. <laughs> it got pretty tense. Started off pretty good when we... Uh, started with Pisces, then we went into Aries. Aries was kind of, you know, up and down too. But Taurus, been a little intense, in my opinion. But we still here though, you feel me? <laughs> Taurus people ruled by the planet Venus, which is my planet ruler. I have mentioned several times in other videos that Libra is my sign that I represent. Taurus is my rising. So, you know, Venus uh, represents beauty, money, and love, which is great qualities to have in life. And Taurus people represent the earth gods, if it's males, and the earth goddess, if it's females. Taurus people is very grounded and down to earth people like Virgos. Uh, they love to feel nature, the look of nature. You know, that's why they are so in touch with their physical side. So let's begin with April Taurus people, okay? Starting with the dates, April 20th to April 30th. 
these types born during this time is known to have a lot of physical action about themselves and we are not talking about just showing off their strong bull bodies all right you know what I'm saying Taurus females that's they, they're known for being uh thick up <laughs> you know what I'm saying Aries too Aries females too known for being thick up got that ram ass that bull ass all right but um they involve themselves into the, a lot of physical activities that can relate to them working out in the gym a lot. Uh, it could be like sport hobbies, like wrestling. Uh, when it comes to acting and singing, that comes naturally to them, just like Aries people um, dancing. But they go full throttle. So much power and just it's a lot of physicalness going on. And that's why a lot of tourist men have um some great bodies about themselves very physique uh so just being involved with a lot of things that requires them to use a lot of their bones and muscles okay now if we're talking pleasurable things yes they do engage into activities that help stimulate the senses of pleasure rather than the intellect so, you know, they crave a lot of physical affection as well. Um, April Taurus people really comes off more casual and public than anything. They tend to hide their true sexual nature behind closed doors unless they are in the spotlight of being famous. Okay. They'll, they'll bust a wide open a little bit now. All right. It's all business though. Remember that. It's all business, I promise you. Um, some Taurus people, period, like regardless if they was born in the month of April or May, uh, they pick and choose what they want to expose when it comes to the world, okay? When it comes to some of their naughty secrets, they pick and choose what they want to let you all know. And sometimes it could be a little dirty. <laughs> be a little dirty, dirty, all right? So on the, on the other hand, they would rather do things themselves, okay? Uh, which reminds me of me at times because it is no other way better than to do things yourself, right? You know, sometimes you want things to be done the way you want things to be done. And yes, it is great to have someone there as a support system to step in and to do the things that you may not have the time to do, you can't get around to, but they may not do it exactly how you want it done. It's a difference, okay? And that's going to be a problem. So that's why Taurus people just, they up and go. They mindset, they up and go. Ain't no calling, ain't no texting. Yo, can you do me this favor? Can you handle this? Can you look over that? Nah, I got it. Um, Some tourist people, especially in the month of April, uh, these people being born, um, they may not be the best talkers at times. They like to listen more than anything and observe people's behaviors. It can seem weak. To other people, especially for the female tourists, if they not doing a lot of talking, you know, um, especially when it relates to some type of drama going on and they happen to be involved. <laughs> uh, yeah, it could seem weak to others, but to them, it's kind of like, I don't know. I, I feel like they could be really trying to figure things out in their head. They may be trying to, scheme of some type of plan to either I'm either going to fight this person. I'm either going to entertain the drama or I'm going to find a way to escape out of the drama. Uh, Cause you know, we all have different types. Taurus people have different types and um, some of them will speak up now. Don't get it twisted. Okay. If they have to 
in front of others when it comes to confrontation. But the problem with some Taurus people is that they take their issues to others first instead of just simply taking it to the main person <laughs> that they have the issue with, which will make the other person look like, well, for one, I didn't know we had an issue. And for two, how you go from being cool and cordial to now it's a problem? Like, the fuck? And nah, real talk. I have been <laughs> in those situations with two different tourist females. Okay? So they they do tend to have a select few when it comes to, you know, their friends who they socialize with. They prefer to speak you know, with certain people. And once again, only those people that they converse with only know the details of that April Taurus person. Or maybe just Taurus people, period. Now, these types as well like to hide. They like to ghost out from from people, okay? They like to, they like to you know, hey... Sometimes society can get be, it can be overwhelming. Um, shit. <laughs> I know one Taurus female, they abandon their own home. You know what I'm saying? If they feel like whoever is there disrupting their peace and that person haven't left, they gonna leave. All right. You know, hey, it, it is what it is. But once again, like speak up. You know what I'm saying? They be ready to fight now, but it's hard for some tourist people to really verbally get out what's wrong. So when you dipping out like that, it will give the statement loud and clear without it being verbally told. Um, April Taurus people can either be hot or cold, depending on how they feel for one <laughs> and what may transpire throughout the day. All right. They will not give a flying fuck how the next person will perceive their energy is either you like it or not. And if you don't like it and you make that Taurus person feel like this can be a threat to them then it's a definite F you in capital letters. All right. I want to say that. I'm sorry. I know I'll be cussing, but I be wanting to say that. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely a F you for sure. For sure. Okay. You will have to be the type of person to literally be very confident to stand up to these types of bull like behavior. Let me ask this question. What does a bull do when they see red? Okay. All right. Same applies for Aries people. Let's remember, April Taurus people co-shares the planet Mars with Aries people. Blend Mars with Venus. And ooh, we, we, we got us an unstable emotional creature over here. Just keep these types of people happy. Keep these types of people love. They Taurus people will need more reassurance than anything when it versus Aries people. Okay, you gotta let them know. Just keep them in good spirits, and they won't fuck shit up when they get mad. When they get in their feelings, they won't fuck shit up. <laughs> they get mad at little stuff. So imagine the big stuff. But, you know, it could be all jokes and games, but, like, for real, like, if it gets out of hand, it could turn physical, and it could get really violent, you know. Remember, they can be more mean, meaner than the Mator's people. Like, for real, you got yourself a half ram and a half bull? Oh, man, come on. So, as we begin to approach the end of April into May... April Taurus people begin to cross over into full Taurus mode. Um, now, don't get me wrong. They display Taurus Taurus. 
okay? But it's more so like a crossover as well because that beginning phase of May as well kind of plays out Taurus, Taurus. Um, so we have Aries, Taurus, and then Taurus, Gemini when we start to cross over into May. And ooh, we once again, <laughs> boy, <laughs> this explains the different personality traits that the Taurus people does not naturally possess. Depending on the chart, they can be full-blown Taurus. They will have to at least have like Taurus being their sun sign, moon sign, and their ascendant if you want to call them full-blown. Now, let's talk about May Taurus people. <laughs> These types stand out more than April Taurus people only because they have a lot of co-rulers. May 1st to May 10th, uh, Taurus people is ruled by Mercury and Venus, which brings back Virgo sharing similar traits as is. May 11th to May 20th, these types are ruled by Capricorn and Taurus, another fellow Earth sign that share the same traits as is. So May 1st through 10th, these types may not let you get away with murder. Okay. Um... They could be probably a little bit more tougher to deal with or, you know, shall I say, uh, they will never, ever forgive you. They may not ever like you for whatever reason. It could be sometimes jealousy. Yeah. You know, uh, they, they are built a little bit more tough on the inside. All right. They love to put on a show show for people who dislike them though. So prepare for the entertainment that they may bring now <laughs> they may tap into their petty side all right um these types can be great giving people though at the end of the day you know they tend to volunteer themselves to help someone else out one thing i can say about tourist people they will welcome you in just like certain aries people will welcome you in you know you need somewhere to stay yeah these types may be, you know, the ideal ones to lend a helping hand. Okay. It can be a genuine, it can be genuine as well, especially if that tourist person already have what they need in life to succeed in life. So they can be known as, you know, the yes people, but only to those they feel that they can trust. You know, don't get it twisted now. They ain't, they ain't that open now. Um, May Taurus people is such pure workaholics that they tend to do um, very good in life and they encounter great success. So it gives them the ability to have a balanced life from working to sharing time with family. At times, they can be known for taking time with projects to get them done uh and being that they take time it could either make the project or break the project so you know whatever they apply themselves into whatever they choose to do when it comes to like a hobby or talent or whatever the case may be uh if they don't fully execute the plan it could just be a waste of time don't get me wrong they learn from it Cause that's what I do. You know, I don't, I don't take everything as a loss. I take everything as a opportunity, regardless if it went somewhere or if it didn't go anywhere. But, um, you know, some tourist people struggle with maintaining one project. So many ideas, so many create, so much creativity is coming out of their soul. Okay. They got to see it all the way through though. You know, they can get bored with it after a while. Like I mentioned, they can, it stems from whatever. They may feel like, you know, there's no support. Nobody ain't supporting them. You know, which once again, hey, if this idea is not going to work, what else can I do to broadcast who I am and what I like? 
And that's really the only creative, tapped in type of tourist people. Because you got some tourist people that rather just be home, be a family man, be a family woman. Or if they don't have a family, they just really in tune with themselves and, and just in tune with their own basic life. And that could just go to work, come home. That's it. Um, made tourist people can come off as strict and boring. And it's really because they like to work. And if they're not working, they like to relax after a long day. If they're not tapping into talents, if they're not tapping into businesses, you know, some type of entrepreneurship, yeah, they chilling. All right? I mean, binge watching a good show on Netflix is a go-to for a tourist, especially a female. What? They ain't they cozy ass, comfortable ass bed. Crazy. Got they bonnet on. They got no makeup on their face, no eyelashes, none of, none of that. No, no lace wig, nails done, none of that. <laughs> Coochie baby Harry. All that. You know, I'm gonna keep it hood. <laughs> but um at the end of the day, they love to be cozy and comfortable. So don't be surprised to see nice furniture in the home of a tourist man or a tourist woman. Don't be surprised to walk into a clean kitchen, part of a stew meat cooking. Don't be surprised. Smell good in the hood. Hey. Now, May tourist uh, people, 11th through the 20th, these types, they enjoy the stability that they create for themselves. And whoever else, family, lover, friends, they love a routine life. They like to stick by a schedule. That's very ideal for them. And that will also make these types of people patient. That will also that's why they always is being related to moving slow. It don't mean you're mentally slow. No, you take your time. You don't rush. You know certain things takes time. Just like Pisces. I don't know who's worse, Pisces or Taurus, when it comes to moving. It's shaking and moving. Gotta get things rolling here. I don't know who's worse. <laughs> but at the same time, that's why everybody is different. And that's why some things is acceptable. Having patience is a, is, is a great virtue, right? So that what makes the May Taurus people go so extra hard. They come with the extraness, okay? <laughs> they sh- they share that need. I gotta gotta work that type of work behavior. They share that, all of them, okay? And you know they do live split lives where they are at full attendance at work and then they are full attendance at a charity event. They live very differently, you know, where traveling the world and networking is something that they really like to do. They just want to talk to the right people. They ain't got time for all that. You know what I'm saying? They come off as practical, like some Capricorn people, which explains the co-sharing of traits between May Taurus people and Capricorns. Um, also, they like being their own security from home to work. And that also makes them self-disciplined people about life decisions, about everything. You know, they took, they take full priority in everything, including other people in their life. You know, take, they take things seriously, man. <laughs> they not mean, they just, hey, they different. You know, tourist people, period, to me, is very unique in their own way. Trust me, you would enjoy being in their presence, regardless of what's being said. They trust me, they will sit, talk, laugh, act a fool, turn up, eat good. I mean, for real, for real. You feel me? They may sometimes come off a little iffy. They may sometimes grow distance from you for whatever reason. You know, um, 
But once again, if you cool, if you cool with a Taurus person, a person in real life, then you, I, I hope some of this stuff that I'm saying does relate to who they are because at the end of the day, that's just who they are. But at the end of the day, no matter what type of setting they are in, trust and believe they're going to always be cordial. They, they're not going to really come with no static or with no drama. Depending on the type of tourist person, if you want that drama, they'll give it to you. They'll rock your world, okay? But um, just know that the distance is real. They could be in the same room. <laughs> I mean, you know. Now, when it comes to their sex drive, and we're going to go ahead and sum it all up. This is for all tourist people. When it comes to their sex drive, um, they could be like Virgo type of, you know, compatible sex thing. You know, they could be like how Virgos have sex that rock the boat, that love making, you know, half on a baby. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's really more so for Virgo men. Some Virgo females now, they, they, they like, they like that, that real rough thug it. You know what I'm saying? Taurus women, I feel like is opposite. They like that rock the boat. Taurus men could be more of a bang it out. You know what I'm saying? Pound it out. You know what I'm saying? While Virgo men rock the boat. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you see? Do you see where I'm going with this? Like, as long as it feels good. Feels good. <laughs> to the Taurus person. Then a routine, a routine sex is even fine for them. Okay. They don't mind doing it the same way. If you want to spice it up, spice it up, but don't get it twisted. Okay. Know what you doing when it comes to a tourist person. You don't want to turn them off. When, when they doing the foreplay, know what you doing and be confident. Okay. Because if you going to initiate these things in the bedroom, they want to see what you're going to come with. So, you know, if it's not executed right, they may not, they may still have sex, but it's not going to be as thrilling. Um, They do like it either dominant or they do like it either submissive. It just depends on what's going on. It just depends on their mates in the bedroom. You know what I'm saying? Like I said before, Taurus people really do like a lot of foreplay versus Aries people. Like, Aries people want to get straight to it. Now, when it comes to Taurus people being in love, oh, man, (laughs) they can be bad with that, too. You know, they can literally be head over heels for that person. We just pray that person is good for them and not toxic. They're not as bad as Sagittarius people, though, okay? Sagittarius people will give it all away. Now, Taurus people can manage relationships and whatever else with no problem. The problem is (laughs) when they get attached, they get attached. You know, they give their complete 100% self to that person. So when it is violated from that person, that's when the unstable emotions kicks in. That's when, you know, oh, they want to vent to the world. And sometimes if the world ain't really understanding where they're coming from or receiving where they're coming from, that's when they may go ghost. They may want to be around close knit family, friends, somebody that can really understand them, or they may just go somewhere by themselves. They, they will leave off the map for a while. Yep. Um, I mean, you gotta understand they give their, their complete 100% self to that person. But other than that, they are good lovers in the bedroom. You know, they have a good hand at cooking They know how to season some good old food, you know, when it comes to cooking in the kitchen. They will always broadcast their talents regardless of what condition their life is currently in. 
And there are great people to be companions with. But that tourist person have to feel that it is authentic. They ain't got time for the bullshit. Unless they with that bullshit. But other than that, that's all I got when it comes to setting these two different months apart with Taurus people. Okay. <laughs> this is the last day of Taurus season. Yeah, we made it. We're going to go ahead and step in into the Gemini. And um, don't worry. Please don't worry. It's so much more to say about Taurus people. That wasn't it. So it may be another part two when it comes to setting the differences. So much more to talk about, period, when it comes to Taurus people. Shout out to you all. And, you know, I'm going to head on out. Stay tuned for the next video. 